Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I just wanna be great, man. I ain't come here for nothing else, man. Just to display the greatness, you heard me? Uh. Hello, world. My name is Michonne Gerard Mandy, son of former world champion Saul Mandy. And my pro debut is coming up. Um, what date exactly, we don't know. But um, I'm turning pro at a Walter weight, 147 pounds. And I'm looking forward to come out here and give the world all of my talents and attributes that I've learned from my father. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's my legend right there. I don't even think I'd be boxing if it wasn't for him. No? Yeah, he's done the greatest things. Uh, he's done the greatest things that um, to be proud of. <laughs> you know? I just came here to eat dog For you thinking it's sweet, yeah, I come from the street dog You don't want it with me dog It's just me and my piece, so don't come in my neck, yo Yo, we come for that Shrek, yo Oh, we talking that green, yeah, we talking that check, yo Oh, you know that I'm next, yo What the fuck you expect, I don't care what you rope. You should see him People should just stop around the gym Just to watch how he jumps rope Playing on my song, yeah Oh, a nigga so on, yeah Oh, a nigga so on in the professional career, I have 29 fights. Um, I have 26 wins, 3 losses, and 11 knockouts. Okay, Impressive. And I won the Golden Gloves in Pennsylvania, and I lost in the semifinals to Daniel Jacobs at 165. But that was a long time ago. What's the upside? What, what is it that you look most to, uh, to capitalize on that he does naturally? Well, he, got, he got a lot of great ability. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on him. Uh, when you look at the landscape at 147 right now, who do you think the gatekeeper is and, and who, who is it that kind of motivates you to go after that uh, that world stage? Who do you really want to meet up with? Um, I respect Earl Spence. Um, we've had quite a few times, you know, to cross each other's path in gyms. We've never had a chance to spar, you know, just introductions. But um, I like his tactical style. Um, I also respect um, Danny Garcia from here, Philadelphia, and um, Keith Thurman is also a nice boxer, but none of these guys have my height, you know, so um, I'm looking to outbox and outwork everyone, you know, given that plat platform. How tall are you? 6'1". 6'1"? Okay, yeah, that, that's definitely uh, posing a mis mismatch in, in that area. What's the reach? <laughs> Don't even matter, as long as you touch him with that jack. When I touch him, I touch him. Big. To be honest with you, you know, a lot of guys, you know, haven't been hit by my power. You know, since I, I work religiously in this gym. You know, I'm a gym rat, so there's nothing that I haven't seen or, or haven't been taught from, you know, generations to generations to generations. I just need the platform to pour, perform my skills. So where are you from? I'm from the Bronx, New York. From the Bronx? Yes. I uh, grew up out here in Philadelphia. I actually won the gloves in Philly in 2005. So, you know, it's been some time since I've been in the ring. I took some time off, family things. However, just, you know, linking with them all has just been one great, one great opportunity after an opportunity after an opportunity. And like I said, he's going to put his mind in my body and we're going to go out there and be victorious. And be victorious. Okay, so boxing over here at Johan Jim. Of course, you're around a lot of championship caliber fighters and some champions who are actual champions. Uh, what, what is it? What type of game you you hope to soak up while you're over here, especially in, in, inside the ring spar? Well, basically, every day is a lesson. My most lesson is just not to waste any time. Um, to be here to learn, and like I said once again, to be dedicated. Um, it's a great opportunity to be around world champions. I've been around them all my life, so it's not nothing new. Um, Father is one, Muhammad Ali, Larry Holmes is my godfather. So I was born to be this. This is my destiny. Destiny. Um, well, he fought uh, Roberto Duran. Um, he won, lost a 10 round decision. That was his first title shot at a 10 round um, lightweight in Miami. Next would be mm. Esteban de Jesus, Billy mm. Costello, Termite Watkins, uh, Maurice, Maurice, what is his name? I forgot the guy name. But just several champions named wow. Maurice. Maurice Blocker, that was the name. And um, he also used to be a small partner for Sugar Ray Leonard. Um, he's worked with Larry Holmes for many years. So I've been around the sport my whole life. But um, just to say, 
name drop a few more. Um, Termite Watkins, Obisha Wampa. I mean, he's a world champion. He went around the world in right. not just here in the States. So there hasn't a continent he hasn't fought on except for Antarctica. <laughs> I think it's wrong to be no, I just wanna be great, man. I ain't come here for nothing else, man. Just to display the greatness, you heard me. Uh take a lot of things to be great, you know. You gotta beat the sun up out here, you heard me? Hmm. You know when you on that last pull up, like nah. Couple more. Uh. Yeah, I just wanna be great, and you wanna be great. Would you like to introduce yourself to the viewers? My name is Salvador Mambo. I won the championship of the world in 1990. I don't know how many fights. I think I had five. 105. 105 fights? 105 fights. Pro fights, huh? Yes, pro that's impressive, man. That's impressive. He's in the Boxing Hall of Fame as well. 2008, he was the oldest man to fight in a sanctioned bout at 61 years old. Mm. That's impressive, man. Just some, just some of the other names that you dropped, just to know that we're actually in, seems like to me that we're in the company of a legend right now. So that's very impressive to know that you come from that type of pedigree. It doesn't really matter. As long as they stand up, I'm going to knock them down. Hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> we're here to win. <laughs> We're not here to duck anybody. We're not here to promise any, you know, my fight fans or any other fighters any disrespect. Or, you know, giving in that ring, I give any man respect and caliber to get in the ring. So I tip my hat to any man and I pray that when I knock him out, he's able to go home to his family. So we so we got a knockout artist here, huh, Mark? Right. Okay. <laughs> They ain't want me to play fine. I just started my own game. I see too many brake lights, so I started my own lane. Ain't no traffic.